G'day, today just a quick how-to video on the DRZ400 uh, Speedo. So on last week's ride, uh, the speedometer stopped working, um, the dash light was all still lit up, but just had no speed reading. Um, usual causes are the cable breaks. Um, it's a cable-driven Speedo off the front wheel, and um, over time, it's a moving component, it just dries out and, yeah, will snap. Also, um, for those that don't mind putting it up on the back wheel, the sudden drop from um, down and the wheel restarting spinning flat out, that shock load also breaks cables. So um, this is the first one on this bike, it's done 14,000 Ks, and I'll just quickly show you what the symptoms are. So I've just got the bike set up with the front wheel off the ground. We'll give it a quick spin. And no reading on the speedo. So what we'll do, we'll uh, quickly pull it out and see if it's broken or if there's something else going on. So the speedo cable off the front wheel goes into this drive cog here with a Phillips head screw there to remove the bottom end. So we'll drop that out and see what's happened. So once you've pulled this bolt out, the lock bolt, there's that one there, the speedo cable should wriggle free and up right so it'll come out as you can see. It's, there we go, straight away it's broken the end off right at the drive piece. So no, that's the culprit, and we will set about replacing the cable. So the cable runs up into the back of the speedo, so you to drop the uh, headlight cowling off, three bolts, one, two, and three. So drop them forward and you'll see in the back of the speedo. With the headlight cover off, and so the cable runs up into the back, into that nut there so you've got to take that nut off and um, the cable will drop out through the bottom once the cables dropped out you can see the top of it there it is held by a bracket the metal bracket you can see and the top of the nut for that one is there so if you back that off you have to um, wiggle that bracket around and drop the cable out so it's just that 10 mil uh, bolt there. You don't have to take it all the way out. Just enough to loosen off the bracket. And then the cable will fall out like so. Lay the new cable next to the old cable. And they're pretty well much the same length. So it should be good to go and try and fit up. Just put a dab of uh, waterproof grease on the cable drive ends just uh, where the cable sits, a little bit of grease um, for lubrication. And it's just a matter of feeding the cable back through, taking note of the three brackets, one, two, and the third one we loosened off before, feed the cable back through them and replace into the uh, drive socket of the speedo. Okay, so that's sitting back in. What we will notice on installation is the cable will come out down the bottom uh, it'll come out further, it means it's not in, so it's just a matter of uh, giving it a bit of a turn with a bit of pressure on it, and it will seat home. So it should only stick out a few mil, and like that, you know that it is um, securely fastened up the top. Just a quick tip, which is my personal preference, is as I've gone to put it back together, the uh, bottom retaining uh, Phillips head screw I've replaced with a stainless bolt. Just a more durable item um, for later on when you have to pull it apart. Um, so you can see that's in, you can give it a tug, and that's all retained correctly. Time to give it a test, give the wheel a quick spin. And there we have, got speed back on the speedometer. So that's the cable replaced and uh, speedo fixed. As you can see, that wasn't a big job to replace the cable. Um, most other bikes will probably be very similar, uh, road trail Japanese uh, bikes, but they may have uh, differences, so give it a crack yourself, but if you're unsure, uh, get someone else to do it that is qualified.
can we get a close up but it has broken right at the join um, where it bends to go into the bottom of the front wheel.